Three forces act on the truss shown. Find a force F and the point it acts on, Y bar, X bar, somewhere on the crossbar of our triangle, triangular truss, so that I can have the same pin at A and the same pin at B. And I want to find this X bar and that Y bar so that F, acting on this crossbar at some angle alpha, gives me an equivalent system to the one that's shown in the picture. So F acts at a point X bar, Y bar on the bar, on the crossbar, in some unknown angle alpha where I've just defined alpha as being from the horizontal. Now, this may or may not be the right direction, it may or may not be the right angle, but it doesn't matter, we can solve for F and we can find alpha and we'll end up with an answer that is an equivalent system. Now, given the way I've defined F on my triangle, F is co F cosine alpha I, F cosine alpha I plus F sine alpha J, I want the sum of the forces from my old system to equal the sum of my forces from the new system. I also want the sum of my moments from the old system to be equal to the sum of the moments from the new system. If those things are true, then I will have an equivalent system. I do have to figure out where these things are. I don't where the forces in the old system are. You can look, by the way, at some similar triangles here. The big triangle is a 3, 4, 5 right triangle. So if I've inscribed in that piece a 2 inch triangle, this is a similar triangle from this is a similar triangle. You can show that this has to be 2.5 inches and this is going to be 1.5. So the 10 pound force is going to act at halfway down the 3 and halfway down the 4. The sum of the forces in my x direction looks like then 3 minus 10 cosine 50. Where I've defined positive as being to the right. This is my old system. The sum of the forces in the y direction from my old system looks like minus 10 sine 50 minus 8 plus 40, where I've defined positive as being up. This is just due to the applied loads. Notice that I haven't found or cared about anything that's happening at the pins. The pins need to stay the same, so whatever they are, they're going to be the same in my old system and in my new system. In my new system, I'm going to have F cosine alpha and F sine alpha, where, again, I have to make sure that I'm still talking about positive to the right and positive up. If I have the same positive on the old side and on the new side, to be equivalent, I need my old to be equal to my new. So I have this, these two equations. Whenever you have F cosine alpha and F sine alpha, what you're going to want to do is stack them up so that you've got sine on the top. The left-hand side of both of these equations are just numbers, so I can pull out my calculator and plug them in. And what I end up with is F sine alpha equals 24.33956, and F cosine alpha is minus 3.4279. The reason I stack them up like this is because then I can divide the left-hand side by the left-hand side and the right-hand side by the right-hand side. My F's cancel, and I have tan alpha is negative 0 0.14084, which gives me alpha is negative 81.983, and I can plug that back in and find that F is negative 24.57975 or something like that. You can double check that, in fact, this F times the sine of that alpha is 24, and this F times cosine of that alpha is, in fact, negative 3. Now, what does that mean? We've got a negative sign in both F and alpha. At this point, you want to sort of stop and look. Essentially, what I'm saying is my equivalent force is going to look like about 24.6 up at about 82 degrees below the horizontal. Does that even make sense? If I put this force up here on this triangle, mostly up and slightly to the left, would it give me approximately the same forces as my 3, 8, 40 pound and 10 pound loads? You can even look, write it down like this if you'd like. This is 24.6 cosine 82 to the left and 24.6 sine 82 to the right. 
And, in fact, those are equivalent forces. But that doesn't tell me where they act. What I want to find out is where, what x-bar and y-bar are. So, how do I find the location? This comes from your sum of the moments. So I want to take the sum of the moments from my old system and the sum of the moments from my new system. Again, I want to find, define what positive is going to be. In this case, let's take positive to be clockwise. So as long as I define my old system as positive clockwise and my new system as positive clockwise, I'm going to be able to set them equal to each other. Where are you going to take the moment about? Let's take the moment about this top spot right here. So this is taking a moment about A. In my old system, the three pound load does not create a moment at A because it acts at A. I will have 10 cosine 50, that's the horizontal part, acting at 1.5, and that's clockwise, so that one will be positive. 10 sine 50, acting at a distance of 2, also clockwise, so also positive. I will have my 8 pound load acting at a distance of 4, also clockwise, also positive. And then my 40 pound load acting at a distance of 2, which is in the other direction, so that one's going to be negative. This gives me, on, on my new system, I'll have F cosine alpha acting at a distance of 3 minus my y bar. And that one's going to be negative. And I'll have F sine alpha acting at my distance of x bar, also negative. I already know what F and alpha are, so I'm going to plug those in. This is 24.580 cosine of negative 81.983 at my 3 minus y bar distance. And the negatives cancel and you get positive 24.580 sine of the negative 81.983 acting at a distance of x bar. Because I've defined all of my positives the same way, to have this be the same equivalent system, I'm going to set the sum of my moments in the old to the sum of my moments in the new and solve for y bar. You can solve for x or you can solve for y bar, but in this case I solve for y bar. y bar is 2.2772 minus 0 0.31561 x bar. That's what you get when you set the sum of the moments in the old equal to the sum of the moments in the new and solve for one or the other. Everything else is just numbers. Now that's not enough. We have to go back to what the problem said was we actually want F to act on the crossbar. To have F act on the crossbar, it has to actually also satisfy the equation for the line of the crossbar. The equation for the line of the crossbar is y equals a slope of minus 3 over 4x plus 3. That's your y-intercept. Now I have, again, two equations and two unknowns, these two, where I have one from the sum of the moments and one from the equation of the crossbar. I have two equations in y and x. y bar has to satisfy both of these equations with respect to x bar. And I can solve those two for x bar. I get x bar is my one po positive 1.6486, and y bar is positive 1.76352. Go back and answer the question. Find a force. F is 24.6 pounds at 82 or 81.0, 82.0 degrees below the horizontal. So you've got this angle. And it acts at x bar equals 1.65 inches and y bar equals 1.76 inches.